the church, his wife, has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the says, let's come back now to our marriage. Now that you know that marriage is to represent the union between Christ and the church, you want to make this great mystery in reality, something practical in your own personal family, in your own heavenly-minded family. As we look at Ephesians now, chapter 5, we're going to look at how do we make this marriage, this family, the model it ought to be. How do we make this family and this marriage the symbol it ought to be in the sight of God? And let's come to Ephesians chapter 5. And we're looking at verses 22 all through to verse 33. But I'm going to point out what we're looking for. We're looking for the action verbs, active verbs in the relationship. You see, what the Lord has done for us is to give us verbs. You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you will accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your heart. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again, to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week, and the one we are going to listen to the next week, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If we tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.